Hey everyone, thank you all so much for taking a few minutes to check out this video. Tucker and I are really excited to talk to you about this new opportunity we have uh, to grow together as, as, a, as a body as we draw closer to Christ uh, during Lent. We're calling it Refocus, an intentional journey through Lent. So Tucker, tell us a little bit about what Lent is. Yeah, so uh, Lent is uh, traditionally, it's the, it's the season, it's the weeks um, leading up to Easter. Uh, and uh, the, the, this whole idea of Lent really arose kind of in the, in the centuries following Jesus. So it's not something that Jesus instituted for us, uh, but the, the tradition kind of arose out of uh, the, the apostolic fathers and, and the, the early church fathers. And it really started as just a way for, for people to uh, pre prepare, uh, new, new Christians to prepare for baptism and uh, prepare to celebrate their first Easter as new followers of Jesus. And, and it's really just supposed to be a time of reflection and encouragement and, and meditation as uh, we prepare to really focus our hearts to, to really worship Jesus for who he is, for what he did uh, at, at Easter, um, his resurrection. Absolutely. And so uh, there, there are different kind of traditions for Lent today. Um, the kind of main one is uh, beginning about 40 days before Easter um, is when the, the Lenten season begins. And um, usually uh, it's a, an opportunity for people to fast and use that time to uh, really, really reflect more on God. Uh, again, it's that preparation, it's that getting ready. Uh, so, so, so Jonathan, just tell us a little bit more about that. We're, we're going to, um, part of our uh, opportunity that we're going to have for people is, is to fast, mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we're going to do some more than just that. So, so tell people what we're really hoping that our church family will be able to get out of, out of the season. Yeah, for sure. So we know COVID has been a crazy time, yeah. right? The pandemic has been tough on all of us. And as hopefully we're turning corners, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, we're really excited to help us kind of come together as a church family and really uh, be in one mind, right, as we go through Lent together. And so each week we're going to have a different thing for, for us to focus on as a church family to help us uh, get our gaze on Christ. So, for example, the first week we're going to talk about fasting. And really what fasting is, is just less of something. It, it, you, you have to fill in that blank for yourself. We can't do that for you. Yeah. It, it could be food, you know, traditionally it might be food, but it, it could even be social media or yeah. TV or sweets. Um, yeah, yeah, anything that you feel like is distracting you from your relationship with God, or maybe you're tempted to, to lean on more and to want more. Uh, or to find more joy in, in your relationship with God. So it's really a, an intentional time for you to take that away. So when you feel that hunger rise up or that desire to do whatever it is rise up, you can spend time with God. You can focus on Him. So less of something for more of God. We have Joel 114 there as our, as our scripture verse uh, for the week. So each week we're going to have a new thing to focus on as a church family. We're going to kind of be adding those. They're going to build upon each other. So the, for week one is fasting. We're not going to stop fasting week two. We're going to continue that but add something on as we go through uh, the Lent season. So you can see Joel 114 uh, right there. Each week we'll have a different uh, local uh, Bible verse to focus on that week. And so we're really excited to start this and we're going to have a video come out every Monday to kind of give you what's, uh, what to look ahead and what's coming for that week and to kind of give you some practical things you can do and how you can apply that to your life. And also not just you parents, I want to encourage you, include your children in this. Include them in, in each week of how they can be involved with the church family. So for my kids, I have a seven-year-old son and a four-year-old daughter. We're going to ask them to fast from something. Now, it may not be food because of their age. We're going to ask them to, to take something away they enjoy doing or, or takes up their time. And as a family, intentionally focus on God during that time. We'll do that each week as we go forward together. I think it'll be a great time for our church family, again, as, as we're not really gathering together right now, to still participate together, um, to, to, to really grow closer to God. And then hopefully, when we are able to gather together, maybe in the, in the coming months, um, I, you know, we'll have all experiences Absolutely. together. We can relate together. We can celebrate what God has done through us personally when we're able to come back together as well. Absolutely. Looking yeah. forward to it. Cannot forward wait. To it. So we'll have more details coming out every single week, videos, uh, resources uh, for you to be able to participate with us. Uh, and so, so be on the lookout for those. And we're just excited to see what God is going to do through our church uh, with, with this opportunity that we have together.